first game-changing rail project of the 21st century anywhere in the world was the line connecting the top end of Australia's Northern Territory to the Red Centre, with a new station along the way in the fine and friendly town of Catherine. This luxury train is known as the GAN after the Afghan camel drivers who helped open up Outback Australia. In 2004, it started carrying passengers between Darwin and Alice Springs and immediately became one of the world's great rail trips. The train is typically an impressive 880 metres long and averages 80 kilometres an hour. All the meals and drinks on board are included in the price and you can dine here in the Queen Adelaide restaurant. At key locations, including Catherine, passengers leave the GAN to explore the surroundings. A good time to talk to Deb Munn, Service Operations Manager. People save up for a long time to travel on the GAN to see uh, their experiences and they get their expectations. It's a wonderful thing to see. I think it has a part in Australian history because it forged through the centre of Australia and uh, it opened up the outback, especially Alice Springs, going back in the early part of the 1900s and then through to Darwin in 2004 and I was part of that in the inaugural journey, so that was pretty special. Catherine is where the tropics meet the outback and it's time for me to indulge in three Northern Territory rituals. Starting at the town's free-to-enter hot springs. Elements of the hot springs remind me of the UK centre parks concept, only warmer, more natural, less crowded and costing not a cent. That's the first time I've cooled off in a hot spring. Northern Territory is full of surprises. For my second experience, I'm hoping to be immersed in Aboriginal culture. Australia's First Nations people have much to share with the world. An Aboriginal elder, Manuel Pamkal, is teaching me about some skills that have sustained the world's oldest continuous living culture. Fire is a really important element of Aboriginal culture. Unbelievably, Manuel is showing me how they create fire from pieces of wood, a bit of sand and some dried grass. Okay, so this embers of wood. Yeah, put them in the grass. Okay. Oh, I am just astonished. In a few minutes, we have gone from the basics of wood and sand and grass to that most fundamental human creation, fire. Fire from language, Myanmar. Next, time for a musical interlude. The ditch in Top Ditch is short for didgeridoo. <laughs> It's all about the resonance. Hunting is another fundamental for Aboriginal people. This inspired design enhances the power of the hunter when throwing a spear. I'm gonna try get this. Echidna, eh? Good tackle, that one. Okay, so we're going for the echidna. Yeah, okay, like this. this one. Oh! oh. <laughs> All right. No actual echidnas were harmed in the making of this film. Um, can I have a go? Yeah, yeah, you can have a go, yeah. Oh! Hey, you got it! Oh, oh, oh! How did I do that? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
I might survive for a day or two in the outback. <laughs> yep, <laughs> look at that, that's good. But I'm gonna stick with <laughs> manual. For my third and final experience in the area, I followed the Catherine River to Cicada Lodge. It's the base for exploring a geological wonder and a good location to gather your thoughts. Oh, hello, and welcome to Cicada Lodge. Quite the place to stay when you are planning a nip me look gorge experience. And how did it get the name? As soon as you open the door, the noise of cicadas, these cousins of the grasshopper, is deafening. The park has a network of well-marked trails. If the climb doesn't take your breath away, the view from Barrow Way Lookout probably will. A geological upheaval in the ever restless earth around 20 or more million years ago shattered this sandstone shield. Water began to fill the fracture lines and slow, quiet erosion completed the 16-kilometre Nipmiluk Gorge system. Onwards and upwards! Another 10 minutes takes you to a second lookout where you can gaze at the timeless landscape and man's modest additions to the scene. I'm so excited about this. I'm about to step aboard the Nabilil Sunset Cruise with dinner. Seeing the gorge from water level provides a whole new dimension on the natural beauty. Cliffs come to life in the ever-changing light, shifting shapes and shadows. Nitmiluk is the name given by the Jarwin people. The Europeans called it Catherine Gorge. You might be thinking, what sort of cruise is this he's having to walk? Well, that's because there's parts of the river where the rocks are piled up so much that you simply couldn't get a boat through. So we're having to switch vessels to get past those obstructions. It really adds to the experience. So far, we've been dining out on the spectacular interaction of land and water. Time for some sustenance. Oh, ho, ho. Hey, welcome on board. Thank you no, so much. No worries. Sparkling and cool. No, <laughs> not me. Yes, it's gastronomy on the go. You dine on freshly cooked local produce as you glide through spectacular scenery towards the setting sun. Celebrate your good fortune with other lucky guests or just let yourself be smitten by natural beauty. This might look like the height of indulgence, and indeed it is, but spending time in and around Catherine and Nitmiluk National Park is also about enlightenment and inspiration. The deeper you venture into the Northern Territory, the richer your experience becomes.